and the castle is up ahead of us, but like the whole thing looks like castle. The entire skyline. And those are just regular buildings that they've built. I saw a sign for fish and chips. I'm getting hungry. Hi all, I'm Ashton. In 2020, I was newly single and furloughed from my big city job. So I left Houston in the middle of a pandemic in search of a fresh beginning. I started by sailing from Texas to the US Virgin Islands, made some new friends and got a great tan. Then I took myself on a solo road trip to see as many epic views as I could find in four weeks. Join me for season two with all new experiences, people, and places. I can't wait for you to see what I have planned for the ride. Subscribe and follow along. After all, to live would be an awfully big adventure. stuff off. I'm just gonna grab some food but like no okay no okay scallop <laughs> okay I finished my dinner I didn't actually film a dinner because I was starving but oh my gosh this is Royal Mile Royal Royal Walk Royal Royal something, I don't know. A long way that goes up to, goes up to the castle. But, look at, oh, pardon me. Like everything is just this pretty. It's gorgeous. Oh, and the bagpipes, I can't with the bagpipes. Just sob. I am gonna go back to the hostel. Call it an early night, I think. I get all my stuff charged. And uh, yeah, for the night. So start fresh in the morning. Good morning. It is my first full day in Scotland. Woke up to get Starbucks. Here bagpipes. I have tickets to see. I love the bagpipes. I have tickets to Edinburgh Castle. Today at three was the soonest I could get them. So I am going to just wander until then. See what I can find. Or just sit and listen to the bagpipes. I don't know. They're pretty amazing. People are probably thinking I'm really crazy because I'm like laughing out loud at this. The fam will get it. Family will get it. Oh, another Starbucks. All right, she's closed today. But we'll come back later in the week for the Queen's Gallery and the Palace, her palace. Um, and this is Scottish Parliament. Really an awkward looking building. Um, and then behind it, Pretty, pretty. It's all gorgeous. Okay, so apparently they designed it to look like this from the top. The problem is, nobody actually sees it from the top. So instead, it just looks gross. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look like that. So I also managed to. This book is kind of a heavy term for it, but. I have three days between my last day here and when I check in to my Airbnb in Paris. It's so pretty. So I have some time that I've got to figure out what, not a lot of time, but in time to figure out what exactly I'm doing. So I'm considering, considering renting a car and doing the Highlands myself. Could you imagine a bed and breakfast in like Inverness? 
call me Claire Frazier. So that's on the thought. I need to I need to figure that out. Figure out what I'm doing. The Scott Monument is right back uh, behind me. And then these are the East East Princess Street Gardens. And the castle is up ahead of us, but like the whole thing looks like castle. The entire skyline. And those are just regular buildings that they've built. Soft sign for fish and chips. I'm getting hungry. Uh, there's uh, Lord Provost Adam Black. Never heard of him, sorry. Like the entire city looks like a palace. It's not, it's just a bunch of old ass buildings. It's stunning. Okay, so all of that city, 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 all of that's regular city, and then the castle is up there. So I mean, I guess it looks down over the city, but it, like, that all, that's a big church. But that all looks like castle stuff, right? it's been there for a long time but like wouldn't you be afraid that like your house is just gonna fall off the cliff I got a coffee you guys and more mac pipes because why not So we're staying all the way down at the end of this road, it goes all the way downhill, and then this is the Edinburgh Castle. Okay, well I bought the ticket online this morning before I had my coffee, thinking it was really easy. Apparently it just dropped me to the early state available, which is next Tuesday, um, when I will be arriving in Paris. So I will not be touring the Edinburgh Castle, which is deeply saddening. I'm super bummed about that. One of my absolute favorite things to do in uh, cities is find a street artist and purchase some art from them that depicts the area or the city that we're in. And so I purchased uh, these thistles from that gentleman who was painting. I love them. Good morning, good morning. I've got 45 minutes to get over to the, the pier to check out the Britannica, a really old cruise ship. We gotta talk about the coffee, Europe. This is not, maybe in the US we have problems. We definitely have problems in the US, but because of that, we need more coffee than this. I need you to offer me bigger coffees. We are starting here. Not sure where here is, but we need to go up one more. Very confused, but this is a very pretty mall. This is what a mall looks like in Scotland, y'all. Things that are very hard to remember overseas. The second floor is actually the third floor. They count the first floor as the ground floor, not the first floor. It's very confusing.
Yes, Kate, yes. back up to the Rolls Royce, I promise. That is the gold stripe, it is actual leaf gold. And the queen wanted to make sure that you couldn't see any rivets along the side of the show, so you don't see any. And she opted for this blue, as opposed to the black, which is what was generally used. So 
showed you the Land Rover they insisted on sailing with. Um, said that they would occasionally travel with those wolves. And they could only fit it into that small section if they removed the bumpers. And then it would slide in. But they had davits on the top side, pull it up, and they would slide it in without the bumpers. And then whenever they got to wherever they were going, they would on to land. Uh, Rolls Royce Phantom 5. First registered in 1967. Oh, this is not the actual phone car. This is a this is a model of the one that she had. The cost when new in 67, 10,793 euro. Isn't that cool? And this gangway was the one that was always used for Her Majesty and all of the royal guests. adventure of Her Majesty's Royal Yacht. Because why not? You can find the HMY uh, Britannia located in Leith, right outside of Edinburgh. Good morning, good morning. No idea what day it is, but I know tomorrow's my last full day. So we've got quite a bit uh, on our docket today. I have tickets to tour Holyrood, Holy Road the Queen's Palace when she stays here. And then, then nothing this evening uh, until the ghost tours, which I don't know that I'm gonna be able to take you guys on because it's gonna be kind of dark, but if I can, I will. So I think I got the fix on the coffee. You just ask for a triple, triple latte, which very much confused them, but it tastes like it has a good amount of coffee in it. This whole like large latte with one shot of espresso in it, it's not doing it for your girl. Okay, so this path brought us to Jacob's Ladder, which really just seems like a whole bunch of steps. Look, if I do not end this trip with an amazing, amazing derriere because of the number of steps and miles I'm putting in, I did something wrong. Or I just ate a lot of carbs and enjoyed them and they were delicious and wonderful and it's fine. This was a terrible choice. Awful, awful choice. Even stairs, that makes it harder. Alright, this is our first stop. Alright, now at the top of Colton Hill. This is considered the Regent Walk. And it's gonna take us around, if I read correctly, was the remains of Robert the Bruce, his castle or fortress or something of that nature. So since this whole area was, was formed by volcanic activity. This is all volcanic rock. I think that's Arthur's seat where we'll be going later on. All right, well, we're, before we get any pictures, we're gonna sit me. Almond croissant is delicious. This is fantastic. Okay, by the time we make this video, I will figure out what this is called. It's gorgeous though. And then right next to it, I do know this is Nelson Tower. I'll figure out what this is. And then there's like this whole thing over here. This whole section over here. intrigued by this. This is where I'm having lunch. For sure. Cold oink. Do you want any of the Um, sure.
is about. I don't really understand videography with no flash versus photography. Whatever. Now we're outside. It's raining. She said I can video outside. So this is the front of the Hollywood Abbey or the ruins of it. I'm loving this audio guide because I wouldn't like stop and read everything uh, just because I couldn't focus for that long. I love having someone else tell me what it is. done at Hollywood Palace, Palace Hollywood House. We now have three hours until the ghost tour, which means I have two and a half hours to climb there. That's where I'm going, Arthur's Seat. Some guy told me the other day, if you have a nice pace, it'll take you about an hour. I don't know what a nice pace is, but, and we're not in hiking shoes, but we're gonna figure it out. Uh, if we can figure out how to cross the street, that'll be fine. All right, so Hollywood House Palace is right there. You just come right over here and the start is right down here at the bottom of this uh, parking lot. All right, and just a reminder, that is where we're starting and that is where we're ending up, which is the entrance and we're just gonna walk. No idea how far this is. I just know it looks very high and very steep. But we gotta do it, it's like the thing to do. I'm sure they found here. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, you can see. That's where we were this morning. The National Monument and Nelson's thing. Okay, we've gone. We've gone that far. We've got that. that. Dying. My shirt is soaked. It's the wrong shoes. It probably wouldn't be so hard if I hadn't walked like the close to like 80 miles in the last 20 days. down in time for that at 7. I also just realized that once I climb all the way down to the bottom of this beautiful uh, volcano, I then have to walk up the Royal Mile. My legs are going to fall off today. Because on top of that, I got, yeah, I'm, oh my gosh, it's only so dark, so Okay, there are like a ton of bugs. Okay, bye. We changed shoes, we changed jackets. We are about to go on a ghost tour with Meerkat, Merkat, Merkat tours. We've got a little listening device and headphones so that our tour guide can speak and we don't have to all be in a crowd uh, and we can actually hear him as we walk. Hoping it's not a lot of walking. I know it's gonna be some, but. <sighs> Dired. If you enjoyed this episode, you can check out more at ashtononadventure.com or hit subscribe up at the top and follow along on the next adventure.